Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 17 Real Madrid career mode. This is Season 1, Episode 11. In today's episode, we have two matches. The first of which is against Real Batiste at the Santiago Bernabeu. And then we have an away match against Villarreal. Now, I'm not the most glamorous of opponents. However, they are doing very, very well in the league. Villarreal are currently sitting in fourth with 43 points and Real Batiste are currently sitting in sixth with 38 points. So these two sides could potentially get top four this season if they can get a good couple of matches under their belt. So let's have a look at the La Liga. We're currently first with 23 wins, 2 draws and 0 losses. We are absolutely tearing it up on Legendary with 71 points, followed by Atletico Madrid. The title race is honestly pretty much won, but second place is up for grabs. That second seed, uh, Barcelona in third, like I said before, Villarreal in fourth, Sevilla in fifth, Real Batis in sixth, Valencia in seventh, Deportivo La Coruña in eighth, Athletic Bilbao in ninth. Some other names to take note of, Real, Soci Real Sociedad, are in 15th. Malaga are surprisingly in 17th. Look how far they have fallen. Man, that was so good when Isco used to play for them. Ibar or Sasuna are in the relegation scrap. So guys, we're going to be playing with our strongest starting 11 side here today. I want to try and pick up the three points against uh, Real Batiste here today. So let's get stuck straight into the match. We're going to play into the home kit. I hate playing against green kits in FIFA. It really does clash with the uh, the pitch. So I'm going to go with this the solid green. That should mix things up a bit. Right, so we're playing at the Santiago Bernabeu. It's finally not raining. We've had the last two matches in the rain, but it's cloudy, so it's not too bad. So let's continue on now, shall we? Okay, guys, welcome to the dusk match at the Santiago Bernabeu against Real Batis. If you haven't gotten seen the last episode, we managed to have a 2-0 victory over Bayer Leverkusen in the UEFA Champions League. Aubameyang coming off a, well, a two-goal win streak, I guess. Uh, Castro is up front for Real Batiste. Any other names that speak out to me? Oh, Adnan. Ad... An, Adnan. I guess that's a... Yeah, Adnan. Adnan Janazai. That'd be it. Um, the goalkeeper... Yeah, the goalkeeper is a former... A uh, Real Madrid player, I do recognize that name. Any other names? No, not really. They're playing a 4-4-2, which is interesting. That's a really good formation to counter my 4-3-3 or my 4-3-2-1, however you would like to say it. It is currently dusk in today's episode, and it's cloudy, so you can definitely see how dark the pitch is. I wish they could turn the floodlights on a little bit, and it's even harder to see with um, Real Batista's green kit. Cristiano finds Hamez gets tackled. That's a bad, bad tackle. Completely misjudged and it's going to be a yellow card. How many yards out is it? 39. Uh, we could go a little bit ambitious, try and go for it. Who's my best free kick taker here? I'm more inclined to go with Ronaldo on this right-hand side. I hate the, um, the HUD for free kicks. It takes so long. Oh, what's... Because if you're not quick enough, we'll take it for you. What's, uh, Cruz's? Yeah, let's go with Tony Cruz, actually. We're going to have to take it pretty quickly here now, though. Right, Tony Cruz absolutely bashed this one up. Oh, my God. That was terrible. Petros on the ball, finds Ruben Castro breaking away, oh my god, skips past Courtois, commits his full body to the challenge, and it is still nil-nil at the Santiago, at Santiago Bernabeu, oh my god, Courtois was nearly beaten there, not a bad strike from Ruben Castro, but it's very close, and it's just before the 30th. Ruben Castro on the ball. Come on, just contain him. Sergio Ramos, that's what you want from your captain. That's another great tackle. And now Ruben Castro finally got the block off. Right, we need to get this out and counter attack. Ruben 
Ruben Castro once again harrowing past our defence, but we need a counter-attack here on now. Hamez, Aubameyang, get past the last man, Aubameyang. Make it 1-0. Oh, my God, what a block from the Real Batiste defence. And it looks like it's going to be a 0-0 going into the tunnel. Alrighty, guys, the halftime whistle has blown. It's currently 0-0. Nil -nil. Um, what can we do here? Modric looks knackered, along with Varane and Bellerin. I think I want to wait a little bit longer. It's really pissing me off, just the darkness of this match. You can't see anything. And on top of that, you can barely see uh, Real Batiste. So that's a bad ball from Marcelo straight to doink. <laughs> Oh my god, Ruben Castro's broken away there. Fires at Courtois. He's pretty unlucky not to have scored here. I really love the 4-4-2 formation. They're doing very well against me, having two strikers up front holding the midfield. We just need to get a decent counter-attack on here. Oh no. Get it out, get it out, get it out. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Courtois, the save of the match right there. Check out this ball. It did get a deflection. But Courtois with the save. Six foot five, hard as fuck. Keeps us in. I really need to change his number to the number one. I didn't realize it was 15. <laughs> Modric finds a bammy angle. meant to go to Ronaldo with a really nice breakaway. Doink. Whips it into the box. Rafael Varane gets with the clear. Oh, no. That was so, so close. Real Batiste definitely deserve a goal so far. But that was a decent strike. Beat Courtois. Let's have a look at the stamina now. Yeah, it's time to make some substitutions. Let's bring off Modric. We'll bring on Kovacic. I'm going to give a Bazoa a, a rest for this match. We have Raheem Sterling, Iannaccio, Cherny, and Yedvai. I might bring on Raheem Sterling. Chuck him on this left-hand side. Have Isco lead the cam. Sterling on the left. And then Kovacic on the right. Bale, Aubameyang and Ronaldo are doing very well in this match. But my midfield was trying to keep up with their midfield of four. So that's why they're so exhausted. Isco has just found Aubameyang, and if he can take this, this is the winner. Aubameyang puts it into the bottom left. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang makes it 1-0 with the dab. Paul Pogba, one of his favorite players, makes it 1-0 with the switch. Isco fresh off the bench. What a ball to Aubameyang here. Bit of a shirt tug there, then sort of laid off it, trying not to draw the foul. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang smashes it past Adnan, the former Real Madrid player, and we're 1-0 up against Real Batiste. That is very, very unlucky. It definitely should be at least... 1-1 one, one, or 2-1 uh, Real Batiste's way. They were doing so well, but Courtois has kept, it, kept us in this match. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang scores his sixth goal of the season. Ronaldo finds Marcelo. Get it back to Cristiano. That's a great ball in. Raheem Sterling. Oh, how's Ronaldo still on this? He puts it out himself. Oh, Real Batiste on the counter-attack here. Rafael Varane. Oh, my God. Very, very close. A Real Batiste player at the back post there. It's still only 1-0 up for Madrid. Shit, Martin. Oh, my God. So, so close. Sprays it to the right-hand side. And Real Batiste. I'm hoping I'm showing this and giving Real Batiste justice uh, in the... In the editing process, hopefully they haven't cut too much of their highlights. Obviously, I'm doing live commentary, but they are... Oh, just bumped my desk there with my knuckle. Oh, my God. I had my hand on my face. I can't believe that we've managed to survive the onslaught because they are doing so well. If I was a Real Badis fan, I'd be absolutely gutted. But they've got one last final chance here. Sergio Ramos cuts out the rebellion. And can we get one more back here? We're in a decent half. This would be just cheese if we score this one past Real Batiste. They've been playing so well in this match. Ronaldo Aubameyang puts it into the back of the net. 
2-0 up against Real Betis in the 90th, pushing way too many players forward. Ronaldo breaks away. Marcelo feeds it to Aubameyang, scores his second off the match, scored two against Bayer Leverkusen, and now he's scored two in this match. It's good. We've got some good form pushing on to the next match of today's episode against Villarreal, but... <laughs> Oh my god, this was... we. I don't know if we deserve to win this. We took our chances where we need it, but I just I just feel like Real Betis should have had a couple of goals on the score sheet there. They were so just unlucky in this match. It didn't go their way. And uh, that goal definitely rubs salt into the wound. Right, so we managed to have three shots to three. Yeah, check out this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> the stats really reflect what I was talking about. We had three shots to three on target with 41% of the possession. I don't think I've been dominated so much like in this match. We had 14 tackles. They had eight shots and four on target, 59% of the possession. Abamyang picked up two goals. Isco and Marcelo with the assists. Let's have a look at the tackles. One, Ra Sergio Ramos won five out of six. Varane, two out of four. Marcelo, one out of one. And Hector Bellerin didn't win a tackle. But that just shows you Courtois with seven saves. <laughs> that just shows, like, if you saw the scoreline, yeah, Real Madrid smacked Real Batis 2-0. It was actually the other way around. But let's move into the next match of today's episode against Villarreal. Okay, guys, welcome to the second match of today's episode. We have an away match against Villarreal. They're currently sitting in fifth. Cristiano is the top goal scorer of the Liga with 18 goals, followed by Neymar with 13. Modric is in fifth with 10. Bale is in sixth with nine. And Aubameyang is in 12th with seven. Villarreal have a very good... Well, I don't... They've been doing well in the Liga. They've got a solid side. Um... Let's have a quick look at my team. My team is knackered after that match against Real Batis. I'm sort of umming and ahhing whether or not I should do some substitutions. Or should I sort of leave everyone on? Because I really want to put out my strongest side. We can always do rotations later. Um, Bellerin isn't too bad. Marcelo. I don't want to rotate the side too much because we want to win. We just won't use... We just won't sprint that much. But if you guys can remember, if you're an old school sort of FIFA fan like myself, you guys can remember Neymar, not Neymar. <laughs> oh, so I'm a little bit tired. It's it's late in Australia at the moment. Right. Um, I will get back onto what I was saying. But what kit should I use? Real Madrid white. Um, yeah, I don't think it's going to clash. Okay, it's Cloudy once again at Ivy Lane, legendary. As I was saying, if you guys can remember, Nelmar, that's what I was trying to say, Nelmar in FIFA 11 and FIFA 12, he was so, so good on Ultimate Team. Also, Villarreal have a couple of good players. I think Saldado plays for them now in real life. And also, um, who am I thinking of? A couple of the DeSantoses used to play with them as well. But let's get into today's match on legendary, Cloudy against Villarreal. It's going to be a good one. Okay, guys, we are currently undefeated in La Liga. We're coming off a great 2-0 victory over Real Batis, even though we got dominated, really. Let's have a look at who Villarreal are playing. Wow, they've actually got a lot of good players. Now, just looking at this, they've got Soldado up front. Back Ambu, he's a very good player. Musaccio, oh wow, obviously uh, Eric Bailly used to play for Villarreal as well, they've got Costa, uh, Jonathan De Santos on the right, the former Barcelona, I do. I think was he Barcelona or was he Real Madrid, I think he played for the Barcelona Youth Academy and he also played for Tottenham Hotspur and Musaccio, Musaccio is a very good player, an Argentine centre back, but let's get into the match against Villarreal, hopefully we can pick up the three points and continue. Our unbeaten streak in La Liga. We are currently the Invincibles. Hector Bellerin gets played. Let's stretch the play here. Bale, Aubameyang. Ugh. Hammers, if he went to the left, my friend, we would have been able to spread it a lot more. But it's currently nil-nil just before the 20th. Either side can really push on and win it. It's a close one. That's a great ball there. Villarreal whip it into the box. Marcelo gets it away. Only as far as another Villarreal player on the edge of the box. Ah, uh, shit. That's a great ball into Ambukan. 
that Ambokani. Oh, shit. We pretty much let him line up the shot here. 90 rated Courtois has saved us so many points in this La Liga season. My God. Ronaldo plays through Aubameyang. Oh my god, Ronaldo's going to get onto the end of that. I just sort of dawned on me how many former Tottenham Hotspur players are in this match. Obviously, Gareth Bale, Saldado, De Santos, and we've intercepted a really good run here. Come on, Aubameyang. Keep going, my friend. Uh, see if you can break clear a bit. I, I, I'm, I'm just surrounded. And I get dispossessed. There was, I just got shut down. Absolutely shut down by Villarreal then. Marcelo on the ball. Cuts back. Trying to find someone in the box. Finds a Bamiang at the back post. Gareth Bale puts it into the back of the net. We're 1-0 up against Villarreal from a great ball. Just before the 38th minute, Hammers Rodriguez celebrating with him there. Marcelo with the cutback. The Brazilian left back whips it into the box. That was a terrible header from the Villarreal defense. Chests it, the number six. The Welshman gets it around. The goalkeeper does get a glove to it, but it wasn't to be. The Welshman, Gareth Bale, makes it 1-0 and scores his 10th. Yep, I was correct. The number 11 scores his 10th goal of the season. Aubameyang. Oh, my God. Where the hell did he pull this one out from? I am speechless as to how hard and well he struck this. So Gareth Bale gets dispossessed, but it falls to Cruz. Hammers finds a Bamiang at the edge of the box, lashes at it, a nutmeg through Mustachio, the captain for Villarreal. It goes into the bottom left, and we're 2-0 up from a phenomenal strike from Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. What the actual fuck? Scores his eighth goal of the season. And guys, there is no way in hell Karim Benzema would have scored that. We've got the ABC up front. <laughs> Bamiang, Bale, and Cristiano. Not the BBC. But yeah, we are absolutely putting away Villarreal here today. And they're definitely not putting up as much as a fight compared to Real Sociedad in the previous match. Okay, guys, it is currently half-time away at Villarreal. Can we make some substitutions here? We can, um, but I'm going to wait a little bit longer, I think. If we give it probably another 10, 15 minutes, we'll bring on some substitutions. But we're in full flight here at the moment, and let's push on. Aubameyang, Ronaldo, finds Gareth Bale. If he can get a cutback on here, we might... Uh, gets his shot blocked, bugger. He's cross block blocked, not his shot. Guess who's just come fresh off the bench, guys? Alexandra Pato. I completely forgot they signed him as well. Oh, my God. Tries to get in a ball here, but falls straight to Rafael Varane. And we lose possession to Villarreal once more. Cristiano, is he offside? No, he's not, but he's put it way too far in front of him. I was trying to blister away there with pace. Okay, guys, it's roughly been about 10 minutes, more like 12, 13. Um, it's time to make some substitutions. Let's bring on Isco for Hamez. Let's bring on Kovacic for Modric. And now we have another decision, a tough decision to make. We've got Cruz, we've got Bayer, we've got Aubameyang, and then Ronaldo actually looks all right. We could bring on Cherny, we could bring on Raheem Sterling, or we can bring on Iannaccio or Yedvai. Um, hmm. Journey or Sterling? I'm actually going to go with the youngster. Let's bring the Czech man on. Obviously, the former man from Ajax, the teenager, stands at five foot ten. Can play on this right hand side. He's a left footer, three star weak foot and three star skill moves. Let's give Journey a run on this left hand side. Aubameyang. He's not going to go for it again, is he? Oh, very, very. Cheeky that was. Cherny gets played fresh off the bench. The teenager trying to find some players with the cutback. Oh my god, puts in an amazing ball to a Bamiang. 
but just gets cut out by the smallest of margins. All right, let's let Cristiano take this. Try and get it up and over the wall. Ronaldo, oh, hits the post. Alexandra Pato, the former AC Milan man. He was so deadly up front with Ibra. The Chelsea man breaks away, but it's going to fizzle out to the hands of Courtois. Shit, Bruno on the ball. Oh, oh my god, Alexandra Pato. It's offside, thank god. Journey on the ball. The teenager, eager to impress. That's a great shot from Journey, though. But Jonathan DeSantos is going to whip that up front to Pato. That was a great ball, but Pato sort of fluffed up the run. Ronaldo. Hit it, Ronaldo. Ah, oh, absolutely thrashed it over the fucking bar. We're currently 2-0 up against Villarreal. Not doing too bad with my side was really depleted. But that's a bad ball from Ronaldo. Need to be a lot more composed from there, my friend. Bruno on the ball. Goes for it himself. Trying to get it into Alexandra Paso, I believe. Okay, guys, the full-time whistle has been blown. It is a 2-0 victory over Villarreal. We had six shots to five. They had two shots to two. We had 47% of the possession to their 53. Three tackles to three. Um, it was a lot more of a one-way match compared to the last. But thank you very much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really much appreciate it. Also, check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And stay tuned for more content on my channel. My name has been SimC. Take care. Goodbye. Thanks. Riyad Mahrez with another scoop turn. He's absolutely terrorizing this right-hand side. <gasps> Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba has just pulled a bicycle kick out of the bag.